Back in the 1950s, Hans Jenny was able to spread powder on a steel plate and animate that powder using sound frequencies, getting it to rise off the plate and configure itself in beautiful geometric patterns just from the influence of those sound frequencies. That was really the basis of cymatics. Cymatics is a study of wave phenomena and vibration, so it's a branch of physics. Physics is really good about expressing the mechanics of force and matter and how they interact and what to expect. You throw a ball up in the air, it's gonna come down. But science has never been able to even approach how the unmanifest comes into manifestation. The beauty of cymatics is it shows that the only way physical form makes sense is through some higher quality vibration animating it. I've been publishing cymatics for the better part of 30 years. I've published the works of Han Jenny, who coined the term cymatics. I've published the work of Lauterwasser. I've been exposed to many other people in the field. The work of Gabriel Kellerman is different because he is an artist. And as an artist, he has approached the science as an art form. When I was uh, young, I have a um, microscope from my grandma. I put my microscope with a speaker and I put a white talc powder. And I uh, put the sound inside, continuous sounds, and I observe uh, appear some very interesting worms. And I drawing what happened in the microscope. For me, it was uh, fascinating. And also was the, the beginning. Kellerman shows how nature actually responds to invisible forces. He works with a sense of beauty and adoration of nature, and that comes through his work, so it's inspired. It's just fabulous. It's brilliant, it's beautiful, and it is breathtaking. The cymatic principle is very easy to see. I work with a special device with a spherical resonant cavity, and I work with the one oscillator, with one single wave, and I, I obtain a structure pentagonal. After a few days in my lab, I was surprised. I appeared the, the human face. It's fantastic. 